we're going to nerd out a little bit and go back and try to answer the pressing question of why in the world would the Republican Party use an elephant for their logo? Let me just grab a pen, a good pen. You might think that the Republican Party had focus groups and had hired um, esteemed creatives to come up with the mascot, the elephant. But as it turns out, the GOP got saddled with the elephant because of a political cartoonist. The granddaddy of political cartoonist in America, Thomas Nast. Nast was really perhaps the most important political cartoonist of the 19th century. Known famously as a friend of the Republican Party and Abraham Lincoln, who referred to Nast as actually one of his greatest recruiting tools during the Civil War. The actual origin of the elephant in the political cartoon is a little mysterious, but it, the, the mascot didn't really stick until 1874 when Nass drew a particular cartoon called Third Term Panic, a tune that's about Grant actually considering running for a third term. And so Nass drew this cartoon of the donkey, which, which at that point had been established as the mascot of the Democratic Party, dressed up as a lion running around stirring up all of this fear and trouble in the jungle. And the elephant is lumbering off of a cliff and it's labeled Republican Party. And over time, cartoonists have now been playing with it over going on 150 years. And the Republican Party has even actually just codified it as a logo with a few stars stuck in the elephant. Another great titan of American political cartooning, of course, would be Herblock, who drew for the Washington Post for more than 50 years. His elephant is very 1950s. Also in, it includes another little detail. Uh, Herblock was the guy that, that coined the phrase McCarthyism with this cartoon. Another thing that originated in a cartoon and then stuck in the history books. Getting up to more contemporary times, here's a cartoon of my own turning Trump into a large orange elephant. I'm playing with the, uh, the well-known expression, the elephant in the room. This is when Republicans were outraged by Michael Cohen's lying and cheating when he was testifying before the House. Of course, there was a very big orange elephant in the room. So that's the story of the Republican elephant, at least up to this point. One of the, uh, the the questions that arises, though, is that, I mean, it does seem in 2020 the Republican Party might want to consider a new mascot. Not that the cartoonists think that there's anything wrong with the elephant. We love the elephant. Maybe it's time to update it. Maybe there's some other mascot that's more appropriate for the current iteration of the Republican Party.